Hey, we're here today with Chef Bree, chef and baker to the stars. And today we're gonna to be cooking some catfish nuggets. I'm excited about it. Well, today we are going to be making a catfish po' boy sandwich. So it's gonna be my play on like a shrimp po' boy, but we're gonna use some catfish nuggets and turn them into sliders. Mm, that sounds delicious. Yes, it's so good. So we're gonna start by making our wet mixture and then our dry mixture, uh -huh. okay? So let's take this. These are what our nuggets look like. So they're already cut up. You can buy them from the store, already cut for yourself, or you can cut your own fish. So we are going to start with our wet mixture, which is going to be in this bowl. We're gonna start with about a cup of buttermilk. Put that right in. So you're gonna put about two teaspoons of pepper sauce. We're just gonna eye it here. That's good. And then we're gonna put in one teaspoon of kosher salt, which is right here. Okay, so we have about one teaspoon. And lastly, to the wet mixture, we're going to add in some cayenne pepper to yes, add a little sir. bit of a kick. Yes. I am a huge fan of cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. And we are just going to add in about a half a teaspoon of cayenne. To one and two. Let me tell you a little bit of trivia about a yes. catfish. Catfish is a bottom feeder and they come in so many different sizes. There's a thing called a banjo catfish. Mm -hmm. It's only 0.39 inches, oh my really gosh, tiny. tiny. But they get as big as nine feet, like 646 pounds is the largest catfish. Oh my gosh, it looks like a shark then. It's like bigger yes. than most sharks. Yes, so they'll that eat anything on the crazy. bottom and they're almost like the scavengers in the water, similar to what you have in the air, like with wow. the birds, so interesting. Good to know, good fun fact. So we're just going to mix this together and it's going to turn your buttermilk mixture into like a light, almost like a light orange color because of the cayenne and the pepper sauce. Okay, so now that's it for your wet mixture. We're just going to leave this to the side mm -hmm. and we're going to start our dry mixture. You want to put your dry mixture in a shallow pan, pot, whatever you have that's mm -hmm. a little bit shallow so that you can spread it out. So in here we have equal parts yellow cornmeal and all-purpose flour. So just equal parts, however much you want to do. Right here we did about a half a cup of each. So we're going to put that directly into the pan and put that to the side. We're going to do four teaspoons of your favorite Creole seasoning. You can use Cajun seasoning. Mm -hmm. This is just really good with any catfish that you cook. So we're going to do four teaspoons. Oh, wow. This is also going to add a really nice kick. Mm. Three. And four. We're gonna do a half a teaspoon of garlic powder mm. because everything is better with garlic. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna do about a half a teaspoon. Okay. And then that's it for our dry mixture. So we're gonna give this a rough little whisk. So oh, that we're kicking it. We're putting a lot of kick in the dry side and on the wet side. And on the wet oh, side. Oh, we gotta cover yes. that. All right, let's clear off some space right here because okay. we're about to drench these and uh -huh. put them into the fryer. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take the nuggets, we're gonna put them inside this buttermilk, mm. this spicy buttermilk mixture. Yes. Now you can, if you wanted to, soak these overnight and let them really absorb all this flavor. Yeah. Or you could just quickly drench them like what we're going to do today. So we're just going to drench them like this. And you put them directly into this cornmeal mixture. Let me show you guys like this. And we're just going to make sure that they all get coated. So that should be good. You don't want to overcrowd the mixture. And then you're just going to roll them in there. Make sure they get fully coated with this cornmeal mixture. Oh. And if the nuggets are too big where you buy them, you can literally just cut them, make them smaller. Mm -hmm. Depends if you're making a full pull boy, if you're going to do sliders, which what we're doing. So ours are a little smaller. It's just like this. Just make sure it's all covered so it gets a nice crispy crust on it. Okay. And you're just going to shake off the excess flour. Mm -hmm. 
take it off and you're literally just going to put it right right in there and since they are so small they're not going to take very long to fry you just want to keep an eye on them if they're full-size nuggets like a strip they'll take about five to six minutes if you're doing something smaller like this it probably will only take about three you want to wait till they come floating up to this to the surface and that they have a nice golden color and right now we've set this oil to 350 we're using a fryer that already has a temperature gauge on it so it's really easy to do it this way you can also pan fry these if you wow. don't have a fryer use a cast iron skillet whatever you have and whatever works best for you and that's literally all we're going to do for our catfish so wow. let me just finish these up so we can get all of them in there but the buttermilk, I just love using buttermilk for everything, whether it's baking yeah. or frying. So you always want a, a dry hand and a wet hand, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So you can already see them starting to come up to the surface. Wow. So you can see how quickly they cooked up and floated to the top. So now what we're gonna do is take a bowl, line it with some paper towels like you would with fried chicken. And you're literally just gonna put them in here. Let them rest for a little bit. Oh my gosh, look how crunchy they look. They look fantastic. Look at that. Oh, nice golden brown. Yes. And you could do this with full fillets too. If you wanted to just have some fried catfish, you could use the same recipe and just put it on a plate instead of a bun. Mm. So that looks amazing. So we're gonna actually go ahead and fry up the rest of these. And then while those are cooking, we can toast our buns. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put all of these in there. So literally only took like three or four minutes. Yeah, it didn't take it us very long to quick. do that. That's what I love about your recipes, Bree. They're so simple, but so delightful it's and tasty. So, so fast, you guys. <laughs> you could do this any day of the week. It doesn't have to be on wow. a weekend. You could do this on a school night, on a work night, mm. whatever works for you guys. And you heard it from a chef that it's easy. Yes, you know? it's really easy. So now we're just going to quickly butter each side of the roll. And right here we're using just some sweet rolls that we could use for slider buns. Or you can get whatever type of roll that you want. You can even get a French roll and cut it into thirds if you want to keep it traditional. So we're just going to butter these really quickly and then throw them into the oven just until the butter melts and they get a little bit toasty. Okay, so now that we have all of our catfish done, we're going to assemble the sliders. So super easy. We're going to use our homemade sriracha mayo. Mm. So all it is is chili sauce, then it was mayo, so a cup of mayo, about four teaspoons of sriracha or chili sauce, and then a quarter teaspoon of paprika. And you just mix it all together and you have this amazing spicy mayo sauce. It is so good. So that's going to be our sauce, and then we're going to just easily top it with some lettuce, iceberg lettuce, and some little cherry tomatoes. Since the sliders are so small, we're actually going to slice these and use them as the tomato. Wow. So we're going to start by just slicing these, like you would a normal tomato, but it's really cute because they're so small and they're the perfect size for your sliders. <laughs> so we have about two per slider. And it's okay if they're a little bit thicker slices because you want them to be able to taste the tomato. Like, look how cute those are, aren't they, they awesome? They're really <laughs> They're the perfect so size. So creative. It's amazing. It's like they were made for the sliders, you know? I know, exactly. You know what? I got a new nickname for them. Those are slider tomatoes for me. They are slider tomatoes. <laughs> They're not grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. They are slider tomatoes. All right, I think that's enough. So we're going to simply layer this. We're going to start with our spicy mayo sauce. We're just going to do a little bit on the end on one side. It's always easy to put it into a squeeze bottle or some type of like piping bag. It's just really clean and easy to do that. Then we're going to go ahead and put our catfish on. I say load it up with as much catfish as you can. 
so crispy. Some pieces are bigger than others and that's okay. But we're gonna try and get two pieces per slider. Just like that. And then on the other side is where we're gonna have the two mini tomatoes. The slider tomatoes. Yes. <laughs> they are made for this. I'm right? Because <laughs> it's so much better than you having to yeah. just take a big slice of tomato and putting it on or having messy. to cut that. It's just, they're, they fit perfectly. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to take some iceberg lettuce. We're just going to tear it with our hands. Stick that on there as well. And this, all the lettuce and the tomato is also going to help kind of dilute the spiciness of sure. the catfish mm -hmm. and of the sriracha mayo because that's spicy in itself. Okay, one more. So now that we have all of these assembled, we're going to stack them just like this. Now you want to use either a toothpick or something that you can use just to stick them together. So we're just going to use a simple toothpick and just put it right down the center. And these make great appetizers if you have a big party and you just want something for people to snack on until the main dish is done. This is so simple and so easy to do at home. Oops. There you have it. Wow. So how about we give it a taste? Oh, please. Yes. Pick whichever one that you want. Uh-oh. There we go. Mm -hmm. And just get in there. Mm. Mm. That crunch from mm -hmm. the catfish, the acidity from the tomato, spiciness mm, from the, the mayo. Oh. To find more amazing recipes like this one here, visit the website at fishingstory.com. Ronnie can't even speak right now. Oh, <laughs> I'm coming up here in a minute. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. Wow.